in this video we are still on the chapter of vectors on sp of vector spaces but this time we introduce the very important concept of dot product or as i prefer to call it inner product we call it dot product because we use a small dot here okay and inner product because is the 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 the, the inside product between two vectors. Okay, so what is the dot product or the inner product? Suppose you have a vector u, u1, u2, un, and a vector v, v1, v2, vn, where u and v are in the rn space. So the dot product written this way u times v is equal to the summation of k equals 1 to n of uk times vk and this is the definition of dot product so by this time you might be a bit uh, you might be asking yourself oh i'm used to some other definition okay um, let us suppose we have two vectors vector u and vector v and let us say that these two vectors are in R3 so R3 will be this uh, space right we can say this is I don't know let me not call anything to the axis for the moment and we have two vectors u and v and they will both have three components right so let us say beginning at the origin we have vector u here that take us in this direction and we have vector v that take us in this direction so let us say that they land at point p here and this one lands at point q and point P as, um, I don't know, let us say A1, A2, A3. Let me not put A equal here. Okay, so this is point P. And let us say we have point Q, and that will be B1, B2, B3. Okay, so all this considering the vectors beginning at the origin so you probably saw this definition where u times v or u uh, dot product with v equals absolute value of u times absolute value of v times the cosine of the angle okay so th this will be theta the angle between u and v and the dot product defined as u times v equals absolute value of u times absolute value of v times the cosine of theta okay let us see what is this if this definition agrees with our definition of dot product because we define dot product as u times v equals the summation of uk times vk where k begins in 1 and ends in n let us see what is the absolute value of u well the absolute value of u is going to be a1 squared plus sorry not b a2 right this one times a2 squared not times plus plus a2 squared plus a3 squared right okay u to the squared right and then this will take the, the square root here okay and the same the same for vector v 
okay so this will be vector v now the question is what is pq so if i pick the vet vector pq what is pq well pq will be so this one minus this one right a1 minus b1 so pq squared so this this line here this vector here squared will be a1 minus b1 squared a2 minus b2 squared a3 minus b3 squared 2 but if you open all this if you expand here so for a1 minus b1 you will get a1 squared minus 2a1 b1 plus b1 squared and then you do the same for this one and the same for this one okay so you're going to get from here a1 squared and that's here from here you're going to get a2 squared from here you're going to get a3 squared in the first one we got b1 squared so from here you're going to get b1 squared from here b2 squared b3 squared from the first one you get minus 2 a1 b1 so i factor minus 2 and i put a1 b1 here from this one you will get a2 b2 and from this one a3 b3 oh but so pq squared this is very strange because what we got here a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared that's not nothing else but the absolute value of vector u squared right a1 squared a2 squared a3 squared and what about b1 squared b2 squared b3 squared that's nothing else but vector the absolute value of vector v squared and what about a1 minus 2 a1 b1 etc that's nothing else but minus 2 the sum of from k equals 1 it goes to 3 right uh, of uk vk right those were the names of the vectors right Ma let me just quickly remind you uh, from high school the famous law of cosines okay so pq a line pq squared equals absolute value of u squared plus absolute value of v squared minus 2 times absolute value of u absolute value of v cosine of theta right so now i'm going to put all this together so pq here from the law of cosines pq squared here from what we got doing all the calculations for these two vectors right because we were calculating pq squared this vector here squared so now i'm going to put this one together with this one okay okay here we are so from pq squared we have u squared v squared minus 2 sum and from the law of cosines we have u squared plus v squared minus 2 u v cosine of theta so now u goes to this side so this one is going to disappear from this one with this one v is going to disappear with v so minus 2 divides minus 2 so these two they disappear 2 so it is proved 
that both definitions are the same. So I so this one was the first definition I gave you for the dot product of uv. So the dot product of uv is the sum from k equals 1 to 3 of uk vk. And this one that you are, you are used from your class that says that u times v equals uh, absolute value of u, u, absolute value of v times the cosine of theta, right? So these two definitions, they agree.